Welcome back, we found the power! Supply. It's kind of funny here that Jimmy is basically in Dip's place. Except Jimmy's a bit more confident. Like, Dib just has the superpower of not being stupid. Jimmy's actually smart. <laughs> Plasma steam. That sounds kind of oxymoronic, but okay. So I just have to, like, shoot steam? Hey, freaking thing. I admit, I didn't quite comprehend all of that, but that's probably my own fault if I didn't. Because I tend not to read things and have very good reading comprehension while I'm let's playing. It seems fairly forgiving, though, for the collisions. I guess I need to take pictures fast enough, though, to... Let the, the power gauge fill up. Or at least not unfill. Yeah, I apologize if watching me not quite understand things is a little frustrating sometimes. It's a little difficult to commentate semi intelligibly and also play a game at the same time. Anger? Wait, when did Kerber just suit on? It didn't look like that to me, but okay. Also, calm down there, Jimmy. I I feel like each of those things individually from time to time, too. But not all of them simultaneously, usually, so... <laughs> Thank you, Gear. We have lots of sprites for Zen. I appreciate him getting his time in the spotlight. What? Why are you acting like there's a singular Earth? Like, at the very least, we have a bunch of different quote-unquote worlds. Are they all, like, different versions of Earth? I'm curious how this is supposed to work. Except for the tallest. Boy! And then handshake. What? Why? Speaking of new sprites, hi Tommy, who never appeared in this game. Oh no, I think we took pictures of him at some point. Arnold's the MVP, seconded by Danny. The World, capital W. Is that. Timmy drinking juice. It's a really long straw. <laughs> well, at least I have some of you. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of true in a sad way. But then again, he appeared... What are you doing there, Jimmy? He appeared more in the Nicktoons games than some of these other characters did. And he got and he got kind of a cameo, two cameos in Volcano Island, because you saw a Voot Runner and Zim's house appear in that game, even though Zim himself never appeared. The the Toybots games, Gur was a playable character, not to mention an Orkin Guard appears in the opening cutscene as a drawing, and the with no mission from the game, the Master Model Chambers are all Invaders M themed, which is interesting. I don't know why the, the Nicktoon series had this weird um, tradition of like acknowledging or referencing Zim without Zim being in it, really. Although in the DS version, Zim was actually playable. What happened there, Jimmy? Oh, there he goes, Zim. Beautiful. Not quite continued, but oh well. 
So we're not done just yet. It's always awkward trying to like give thoughts on the game when we're not done just yet. So I don't know if I will. I don't know if we'll have very long credits here. I'm curious who did the sprite work though. And if, I'm curious how many people did too. If it's one person, that person had a lot of work. But they did a good job of it. So I'll take a look just to uh, acknowledge and also out of curiosity. But yes, I, Invader Zim, well, Zim did eventually get like full full attention in, in Globs of Doom. Yeah, the, the treatment of Zim was kind of weird over the course of the Nicktoon series. Like, he, he didn't, at first he didn't exist, but then he slowly, gradually appeared more and more, which is kind of weird. I mean, especially when you would think that appearing or not in a game would be a binary sort of thing, but it wasn't, somehow. But of course, other characters in this game never appeared in other games, outside of, like, one picture as a model in in Attack of the Toy Bots, namely Arnold and I think maybe Tommy. But then you also had other characters that were actually playable in that game, namely... Namely... Well, Jenny actually, for one. Aha! Jenny was also playable in the DS version of Toy Bots. Mr. Blake too, which is cool! I wonder if uh, Cat Scratch had any other video game appearances. And who else? Um, Stimpy? That was a nice one. Search and manual. I think I missed whoever did the sprite work. Darn it! I wasn't looking too closely. Man, these are a lot of people's thank for special reasons, and I don't know what those reasons are. A surprising number of people here, though, although, mind you, a lot of these are just, um, just management. It looks like. So I don't know how many of these were actually directly involved in the game in any way. I wonder if one of the reasons that credits got longer is just that the standards change for who you include. Like, for instance, I remember earlier games... Rob Libin, always! For instance... I know one game at least, there was... Spider-Man Mysterio's Menace. That game, on, on the Game Boy, that is, I think it was also released on console, which I have never seen. But it had really short credits. And it was one of those cases where you actually saw everyone appear in the credits too, I think. But... Fuck. But... I don't think, unless it was just a really small studio that was really independent. Oh, thank you. Uh, a thing finished. <laughs> never mind that. Vasquez! Thank Zupo. There's a... I don't know if I've ever seen John Vasquez's name in a video game, that's cool. Robot. I do like how all these got mentioned. Tack being here is weird. He got a weird cameo. But oh well. He was always an outsider, I feel like, in the, the Nicktoon series, even once he did have his own show. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, just because... I, I, maybe that group didn't have much in the way of executives and whatnot, or maybe they just actually didn't include them in the, in the credits, I don't know. But yes, Tack was always a strange one. I, I I feel like Tack was kind of weird in general in terms of, I don't know, everything? It, it seemed, like, I've heard some people accuse it of being one of those things where it was never actually popular, people just tried to make it sound popular. How true is that? I don't know. I never actually paid attention to Tack in any capacity. And, not the end. We have a Jimmy. Secret Mo Jimmy. Secret mode end. Is that like a cutscene? Okay, here we go. Can you collect everything? I'd like to. Oh, so I can see who I'm missing where though. That's good. Um, missing someone from Fairly Odd Parents? See it. I like how you get to see everyone's names too. Like these aren't characters that are strictly from these. Like these are characters from these areas, not specifically people from these IPs. Jenny is not from Invader Zim, although that would kind of make sense. Excuse me, that's not membrane. Uh, Gurren Doxy. You guys, you guys did a good. Job. They even recognize the Keith. 
By the way, I don't think that's a mistake. I think those kids were both called Keith in the show. Like, they did a lot of research, but then that's not Professor Memory. Right? In fact, well, I think I saw a guy with that design appear with a speaking role at some point, and I don't remember when or where. There was another time, though, also that you saw secret agents in a picture generated by the computer. It was the FBI specifically. The FBI tried to, like, synthesize or, like, literally generate from nothing information about the FBI, and it included pictures of agents that looked like that guy holding hot dogs as weapons or something silly like that. I don't remember. High tack. Um, I, uh, there's a Zim that I'm missing? Or something? So are these by level or not? I can't quite tell. Or just by IP. And then a bunch of things got randomly thrown into... Ah, I missed someone from Phantom too. From Danny Phantom. Lars, that was the guy's name. Okay, so we have fairly odd parents. Santa Claus. Indeed. Hmm. So that means, though... That's either Gur or Zim, I guess? I don't know where... They would have appeared. It's also where the My Life as a Teenage Robot just appears here. And then the robots. But... I don't know if that's Gur... Like, the thing is, they could appear anywhere. I really don't know where that could be. I can't tell if it's Gur or Zim either. If it's Zim, then it's probably Zim in... In... final level. But, uh, you know, but most of these you have a green for just for having taken a picture of them. These are bosses. And then red for having defeated them. Do you have to fight and defeat Gur specifically? In the boss fight or something? Or maybe last land the last hit on Gur or something weird like that? That might be it. Otherwise, okay. Otherwise, we have another person in the Danny Phantom world. Someone random in Fairly Odd Parents. Like Splunky's Butler. So that's all it is. Okay, so Gur version 2, apparently. Defeated Gur. And. Phantom and Odd Parents. I think that's okay. Okay, cool, we can go wherever. I like how the word, word world just stays there, except for ship. Okay, so we can just jump it back and forth wherever, I guess. Okay. Who should we? Well, we should try out different characters, Jimmy being one of them, of course. He does not endure, I'm not surprised. I noticed his charge speed was slow. Jeez. Otto... And Otto was one of the people we wanted to play as. Can we not play as Timmy, out of curiosity? No. We still saw duplicates of Arnold somehow. So in that case... So we had Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, and then going against. Well, going against Gherkin, I'm gonna play as Jimmy again. Who would most be, be most appropriate for Danny Phantom versus Fairly Odd Parents? I don't think there's that big of a difference, honestly, in, in terms of setting. I'll go with Otto. Yeah, I know how it works, thank you. But I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when we redo some of these places to see if we can find these new characters. Yeah, the usual text. Okay. 
So just a couple levels we'll do again. And I guess it'll be seven levels at the most, hopefully fewer. We'll see. And birds. Whatever. Bye everyone.